I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. We all know the phrase, I think that if you build it, they will come. <laughs> I've heard that a few times. Okay, well here, I think if you haul it here, they will come. And what are they hauling here? Antiques, lots and lots of them. Yeah, and it turns this town of 90 into about 100,000 over 10 days. It's a sight to behold. Jan and I are on our way to the town of Round Top, Texas to see this craziness firsthand. This is huge. To quote one writer, the atmosphere is equal parts carnival and commerce. This guy here is faster than a speeding bullet. Texans don't do small, so it's no surprise that Round Top hosts the largest antique show in America. In fact, this twice a year event draws such a big crowd, most people just call it Texas Antique Week. Ta-da! Small town, big deal. <laughs> Jen, do you think I could be a super dude? No, it won't fit in your carry-on. Round Top sits between Houston and Austin, and if you are already an antique addict or self-proclaimed junker, you may already know exactly where it's located. And if you're looking for something unique, well, you'll hit the mother load when you arrive here. I heart small towns. Do I look like I'm in jail, though? A little bit. Oh. <laughs> Dealers line portions of the highway for 20 miles. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a long day. <laughs> days, Rodney. Days. So I know if your back gets hurt yet, there's a seat in there. I'll pass. <laughs> we talked to people from California, from Oregon, from Australia this week who've come in to visit and they've been hearing about it and they've planned their entire vacation to come to the Round Top Antique Show. How would you describe <laughs> to anyone. The word that comes up most frequently is magic. And for me, the magic is, is that you never know what you're going to find when you turn a corner. Lori was absolutely right. From beautiful antique cabinets, restored classic boat motors, to dinosaur yard art, it's all here at the Round Top Antique Show. You always find different things, creative things. It was surprising to see how much is out here. A little overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. We don't know where to start. Round Top is heaven for me. Everywhere I look, there are antiques, repurposed items, interesting art. But you know what I don't see? I don't see Mr. Rodney Miller. Can I just say that Jan and I shop at different speeds? You want to buy this to keep me in line? or? I need one, <laughs> I need two. I need one for each hand. You know, I really just came for Jan because she wants to see all the antiques. I really don't think there's going to be anything here for me. Well, this is really unique, you got to admit. Controls even work. So you built this thing. I built it, yes sir. Finally, some guy stuff. Cherry. Cherry! Ah! Hey, I had no idea they were going to have tools and big knives and vintage planes. I mean, I love Round Top. I think Rodney is pleasantly surprised. He is shopping and loving it. Mic drop. What started as a small antique show in 1968 with just 22 vendors has exploded into a nearly two week event with over 2,500 vendors. And we found one woman who knows better than anyone how this show has grown. Nancy, you were in the very first Round yeah. Top antique yeah. show 50 years ago, and you are the only one left. Yeah, kind of crazy, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. a little bit. The thing of it is, my husband passed away in 2000, and somebody said, oh, I know your mother's going out of business. My daughter said, heck no, she's just home from a buying trip. <laughs> the backing on the quilt is always stripes. So, Nancy, I have a question. I am the worst at negotiating. <laughs> Any tips for me? <laughs> well, it depends on how seasoned you are. <laughs> One story I had, I, and this was years ago, I had a wonderful Texas wardrobe, and there was some folks from Houston that bought a place up here, you know, and she said, well, what would you take for it? And I said, well, I'd take 1400 And she wanted to negotiate. She said, well, would you take 1600 for it? <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. And I had to think on my feet, and I said, well, if I don't have to deliver it. <laughs> and they bought it. I got a tractor and some swamp land in Texas I want to sell them. We just had to ask Nancy about an unwritten, unofficial rule that's joked about here in Round Top. What are you not supposed to do during Round Top? Oh, you don't die. <laughs> Tell me why. Well, how would you have a funeral? 
Everybody's up here. You'd have to hire a pallbearer. Yeah, you don't die during round time. <laughs> Nancy's in a league of her own. She might be a little too old for me, but I still like her. Jan is welcome to come back anytime as long as she brings that handsome, good-looking partner of hers. Apparently, he still got it. I didn't even know I had it, so I'm sure glad I didn't lose it. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.